He's the Croatian who makes Real Madrid tick, the midfielder with the magic touch. Victory in this year's Champions League saw Luka Modric win the competition for a second time. In January, he was named in the FIFA World Eleven. Some achievement for a player who began his footballing career in the town of Zadar during a time of conflict in Croatia. Despite the difficult war period and my refugee status, I had a normal childhood, like most of the other children. My parents did everything, so my sisters and I could live a normal life. We didn't miss anything. We didn't live in abundance, but we didn't miss a thing. Staying together was the most important thing. There was a nice family atmosphere, happiness, a positive vibe, and that's the most important thing in the end. As a teenager, Modric joined capital giants Dinamo Zagreb. It signaled a spell that saw him win three league titles and break into Croatia's 2006 World Cup squad. It's not easy when you're 15 and you have to move to a big city. There is a new way of life, new traditions, and you have to leave your family behind. But it was a big challenge for me, a big desire and a huge ambition when I realized that I'd made it in the world of football. That's what I loved more than anything. Of course, there were some difficult moments and nostalgia. But when I got used to it and got some new friends, everything was easier. In 2008, Modric moved to London. In four seasons at Tottenham Hotspur, he became one of the world's most sought-after midfielders. It was a phenomenal feeling. After many years playing in the Croatian Championship, and one year in the Bosnian Championship, my move to Tottenham was something extraordinary. I still remember the first match when I watched my teammates playing from the box from the top of the stadium. The atmosphere was so unique, a special feeling and a big step forward in my career. Those four years at Tottenham were phenomenal, full of beautiful moments. We played in the Champions League, and there were many important matches in the Premier League. I also made so many friends and met some special people. My relationship with the fans was great as well. So I really have beautiful memories from those four years. When I heard about the interest of Real Madrid, even if I'd received some other offers, I knew there was only one choice. Real Madrid was always the biggest club in the world for me, with the most glorious history and tradition. So when Jose Mourinho, who was the coach at the time, called me and told me that he and the club wanted me to play for them, it was a phenomenal moment and another big step forward in my career and definitely at the right time. Modric has taken his club form into the Euros, scoring the winning goal in Croatia's opening game against Turkey to give his country a great chance to improve on their group stage exit at the World Cup two years ago. My memories from the World Cup in Brazil are not nice. I didn't play well in that tournament. Maybe I was too tired after a long season. But when I look back to all the competitions I've played with the Croatian team, that was my worst performance. In my opinion, we have a very good team. We have many players who play for big European clubs. So that means we have quite a lot of experience playing in big tournaments for our clubs and different national team levels. We also have experience of competitions like the Euros and the World Cup. Along with Turkey, Croatia are in a group with Czech Republic and reigning champions Spain. Our hopes and ambitions are always the same. Our expectations are really high. Our main objective is to go through the group stages and after that, 
will start to think about the next matches. But our minimum goal is to pass the group stages. I think we have a good mixture of experience and young players who bring some fresh and positive energy. In the end, our results on the pitch will show how good we are as a team.